Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I really appreciate all the new subscribers to the Daily Tune-Up. It grows and grows and grows and I really appreciate all of you sending your friends to this and having them sign up since I'm offering this free to you to just see if I can help as many people as I possibly can. Many of you asked me a question. In fact, many of you this week emailed me wanting to know what about and what to do with this feeling of impending doom that seems to be hanging over the world. You know, we can blame it on the news, we can blame it on our attitudes, we can blame it on situations and foreclosures. It really does have a clinical name. It's called anticipatory loss syndrome. And it's developed through constant barrage of negativity. Also, there are vibrations out there in the universe and the world right now that are changing. These changes are being caused by our thinking. The collective consciousness and the collective thinking of everyone around you, your neighbors, your friends, people at work, are creating more and more stress for all of us. With the advent of the last four years of economics right here in the United States and watching earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes ravage not only our own country, but countries around the world in places that they never think they would see an earthquake, we're really, really being bombarded with negativity. It's true, some of it is true, some of it's actually happening out there. However, we're getting this faster than we ever have before. You know, in a war, we used to hear about the overall war and the situations in the war, but now we're hearing about every soldier that gets killed, every helicopter that goes down, just moments after it happened along with what the stock market's doing, not only on a daily basis, but a moment-by-moment -moment basis. What's happening with the value of our dollar? On a daily basis, not on a quarterly basis. And then with our mortgages, where a lot of us are upside down or underwater, unable to refinance, there's just not a lot of good news out there. So what do we do about it? One of the things that if you feel this anticipatory loss or this impending doom hanging over your head, one of the first things you have to do and learn how to do on a daily basis, if not a momentary basis, is pull yourself back into this moment right here, right now, and tell yourself, at this moment in my life, I'm okay. My kids are okay. Everything in my little world is okay. Now that may sound selfish, but really it does start with you. If all of us can pull our mind set into the moment and look at right now, I haven't had a disaster. Right now it's a little bit ragged, but we're making it. And turn those negative thoughts into at least thoughts of neutrality. That collective consciousness, that vibe people get from you with your neighbors, your friends, places you work at, it can have an overall effect on everyone else. Now, I'm not sitting here so naive to think that these tune-ups and asking you to do this is going to change the face of the world. I just wanted to change you. I just wanted to change your world around you. Because if this can affect little pockets of people all over the world, it's going to have an effect on the world eventually. What I want you to do today is really, really focus on where you're getting your news. You hear me say this all the time. Understand, most of it is sensationalized, and the news will focus on the most negative moment and most negative thing in that moment because it gets ratings, and they will run it and run it and run it. It's almost like brainwashing. What you want to do is pull yourself away from that, not necessarily focus on good news, just focus on being in the moment and looking at your blessings and being very grateful that you're still standing and that you have opportunities today. If you can just do that one little thing, you're going to find yourself being uplifted. That feeling of impending doom will raise from around your head and kind of move out there somewhere. And it's actually going to make the sunlight come out over you. So let's work on that a little bit. Let's help our kids with it. Let's help our spouse with it. Let's help our people at work with it and get them back in the present moment. The power of now, as we say, that's where we affect change, both inside and outside of herself. Let's work on it. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.